In this video, we're going to review this soft LED light made by Photodiox. Now this light is part of their Flapjack line, and I think this is the model C308AS. It is, a, it is as you can see, a bicolor from 3200 to 5600 degrees Kelvin, and it's dimmable from 10 to 100%. Uh, uh, Construction-wise, uh, the chassis appears to be made out of aluminum, and it's uh, pretty sturdy. It actually uh, took this around a globe uh, without any problems. And the electronics, though, are housed in plastic, as, uh, as you would kind of expect. Um, there are provisions for two Sony NP-style batteries, and of course, the AC adapter. Now, one thing I like about this light is that it has built-in barn doors. Now, as you know, with soft lights, the light will scatter everywhere, and we generally have to control them with uh, flags or black wrap. And uh, by having even these small barn doors, it does actually help to uh, control the light and uh, just makes life a little easier and quicker on set. Now, with this kit, um, I bought directly from Photodiox, and it does come in a kit. It comes with a soft case. It also came with uh, a couple of uh, Sony-style batteries, a dual battery charger, and this plastic pistol grip. Now, I haven't used this yet, but uh, it looks like it may be handy. It'll attach either to uh, this end of the light or right underneath where I have this little 5-8 uh, stud screwed in. And I guess if you're going to go handheld, um, you know, on batteries, it just makes a nice little handheld light. Now, all the new LEDs that are hitting the market, they're all pretty, uh, pretty well spec. They all seem to have a very high CRI rating. And, uh, you know, some of them go up to 98, 99 CRI. So whenever I look at a new light, especially the LEDs, I'm really curious about a couple of things. You know, one is how bright is the light? And then of course, how color accurate is the light? Now, of course, for brightness, we could always measure with a light meter. But one thing I've started to do is to uh, measure with an amp meter the amount of power consumption the unit uses. I mean, this just gives me a rough idea of how much output I can expect from uh, any particular LED. So along with the, uh, the amp meter and a line splitter, we're going to turn on the light to 100%. And this is uh, at a mixed source of 3,700 degrees because it uh, seems to use the most amount of power then. And I see that we're pulling about 0 0.38, 3, 0.385 amps. And at 120 volts, I think that works out to about 45 watts of power. So this little unit is consuming about 45 watts of power. In other words, it's a, it's a decently bright light for, again, for a, a long, skinny, soft LED. So now let's set up and take a look at what this light looks on skin tone versus tungsten and soft daylight. I've set up the Photodiox LED light in my typical tungsten uh, comparison setup. Now off to camera right, I have a 500 watt tungsten bulb going through a full chimera. And off to camera left, we have the uh, flapjack, the uh, long skinny uh, LED light set at 3200 degrees Kelvin. And I, that's at 100% and the tungsten light is not dim, just to give you an idea of uh, the quantity difference in light levels. Now, as usual, I'll take my uh, digital meter, digital tape measure, I should say, and I do set the, diff the distance uh, equal for both fixtures. And for curiosity, I'm going to use my classic uh, film light meter to get an idea of the foot candle readings on uh, both light fixtures. All right, so with the tungsten light, we're, we're right about uh, 78, 80 foot candles. And with our LED, okay, it looks like we get about 6.9 foot candles, or close to seven foot candles. Now, for to compare the light quality, or in terms, or the cleanliness, cleanliness of the light, I'm again going to use our sin meter from Adam Wilt, and I do use this as a comparative uh, color measuring tool. And I see our tungsten fixture is at 3230, 3230 degrees Kelvin, with uh, zero shift in tint, which is what, of course, we expect because we did calibrate it to the tungsten meter. And our LED 
It's at 2,970 degrees Kelvin, or 2,970 Kelvin, with a, a 4M with a very slight magenta shift. Um, it's a little harder to see because, again, the this the, this is up down about you know three stops or so. Um, but it's really not that bad. I probably uh, actually I don't really correct it for it on location or on set. I just find that that light as is is really pretty good. Now let's see how our photodioxide soft LED compares to natural daylight. And once again, we have uh, natural daylight on one side and we have our LED light on the other. So on screen left, we have our photodiox soft LED. And on screen right, we have our natural daylight coming through a window that's pretty heavily diffused. Now, as you can see, it's, it's not a bad match. I mean, there is a, a slight green uh, tint or green cast to the photodiox light. But um, again, according to our, our sin meter too from Adam Wilt, it is very slight. And most of the time, I probably would not correct it, especially the way I'm going to use this light, which I'll show you next. When we're in location, quite often it's difficult to get a soft back edge on our talent. Now, when I saw this flapjack LED light, again, it's uh, very thin. It's pretty long. I think it's about 16 inches and uh, very narrow. I thought that's a light we could really jam in tight spaces. Now, to give you an idea of what type of work this light is doing, let me turn off our key light. And here you could see our LED. It's, uh, it's right behind me, but yet it still covers both my shoulders and, of course, the top of my head. And this is really, you know, one of the great ways we could use this light. Now, of course, we've used it uh, in front as fill. We've used it as little kickers um, just to fill in or, you know, a little cabinet because it is battery powered. And it's a very functional, a very versatile and a real handy bicolor soft LED by Photodiox.